Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. This is your girl Nikki and this is Damar. And today we have a video for you which is about 10 things to know that medicine is for you. And if you're new to the DNN Medical Series family, don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about us. So guys, stay, stay tuned. tuned. So the first or the number one sign to know that med is for you, you like helping others. If you're a person like me who likes to put a smile on a person's face, you like to help out others, make them feel better, and things like that, then ooh, this is definitely um, the profession for you. Yes, and we want to see you. And if you don't like to help others, please try to develop that skill because <laughs> helping others, even if it's not medicine, Helping in general is a very good trait to have. But yeah, we want to see you come and help us help others. So another scientist say that med science or medical sciences or medicine or being a doctor is for you is that you study really hard and you know how to apply it and you have good time management skills. So having good time management skills is super important as well as knowing how to balance your time, know what to do and know how to apply the information or the things you read. So you can know everything, swap the entire textbook from back to front. And when you're ready to express yourself, you don't know how to explain what you did or what's going on. You have to also know how to apply it. And this is a taught behavior. So if you can read and you don't understand what you read, there are many other strategies to like get to understand and how to apply it well and there are practical aspects of it. So reading only is not a problem. Applying it is the problem here. And if you don't know how to apply it, you can get help in knowing how to apply it. So yes, it is for you if you're willing and open to these changes. And I'm sure it can be for you and everyone you think of who want or have a passion to do medicine. Yeah, man. Another sign that medicine is for you is that you're excelling at school, you're getting those good grades um, consistently, that is, right? And you want to do med, and the other signs that we're going to talk about fits you, then med is probably the thing for you um, to do. So, get those good grades. Get those good, good grades, yes. And we shall see you in the next week. Right, and another thing, guys. When we say getting good grades consistently, this does not exclude failure. If you fail something, try again. When you, when it's not for you, is if you fail and you don't try again. You fail and you give up. Do not give up if you have a passion for something. You did not get the best grade possible. Try and try again. The next time you try, you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience. So good grades also comes with some form of failure but never give up right so this one is my personal favorite otherwise from helping others and all those nice things i like this one um medicine is for you if you're literally fascinated with the human body because you're basically treating people whether you go into different specialties and so on and so forth, you are talking or you're dealing with the general body. Whether it be pathology, you're dealing with dead bodies or you're doing dermatology, you're doing with skin and hair and nails. You're just dealing with the body. So if you just want to just take care of the body, learn more about the body, know what's going on here, what nerve is this, what is that, the stuff like hair, what is this used for, and you just want to know more about the body and how our body works, I think medicine is definitely for you. Alright, so another sign that medicine is for you is that you have a good attitude um, towards life and stuff. You're not arrogant, right? Um, you're determined. So, as Nikki said before, you're going to have failures sometimes, right? You need to pick yourself up and continue to grow. So, you need to be determined, right? You need 
to we need to have sorry um self discipline right and yeah just have a good attitude towards excelling and towards people in general and have your clear goal and work towards it don't just have a positive attitude So another thing to prove med school is for you guys is if you want to make a change. So being a doctor is not above the hierarchy of being above being above others or being richer than everybody else. It's not that. It's just making a change, leaving just a legacy for others to look up to to say, I remember when Dr. So and so did this, or Dr. So and so treated me. I would like my grandchildren to go to doctor and so and so. I would like persons who want to emulate you. I'd want my daughter to be like her, so on and so forth. You're willing to make a change for the health healthcare services in the country. Our healthcare services may not be the best of the best, but we're trying the best we can. And you want to improve this and be a part of this trying group, you know? To just improve our healthcare services, improve our economy, and make persons who want to choose Jamaica for their places. To say, oh, the best surgeon or the best pediatric surgeon is from Jamaica, the best dermatologist is from Jamaica, the best orthopedic surgeon is from Jamaica. You just want to be a part of this change to make our country and our community and ourselves better, you know? Here, here. Another sign that medicine is for you, right? Um, you've mastered um, being empathetic as opposed to being too emotional, right? So you, there's a fine line between them, and them, but you have found like a balance between them. So you know how to be empathetic so others can know that you um, can feel with them what they're going um, through as opposed to being, you know, and showing too much emotion and being too attached. Because it's so draining, it can take you with it. Right. So a very important and one of the most important one, guys. You see my finger moving. It's important. It's confidentiality. So if you know that you're somebody who walk and talk people business, this is not for you. It is for you if you can uphold this level of confidentiality. Because you don't want to have a patient who came to you or came to the hospital and you're the doctor or the nurse there and you heard that they had an illness and by the time they reached back to their community or their respective home, you call the community or someone you know, they don't know who come to the hospital, they don't know who I'm here. No. Confidentiality is key in everything you do. Who would want that? At the end of the day, we don't know what illness we'll end up with as we grow older. And you would not want somebody to be like telling other persons your business. This is somebody, your doctor should be somebody you trust. Persons trust doctor with personal information. And I don't want to say, oh, I go, I get pregnant and I, and, and I go to my doctor and then nurse or so and so is going to call and tell, you don't know who come dash your belly. <laughs> no, confidentiality is key yeah. in everything you do in medicine. The person, the persons or the patient's business is their business and yours. It's for your ears and eyes only. And the only person or other person should be included is another doctor on on the case and not somebody from the community or not your friend that you're going out with tonight, not even your spouse. Confidentiality is key. So don't make it a table talk. People will see it. So. so another sign that medicine is for you if you have um, the financial capability, right? You're able to find the funds. I'm not saying that if you don't have the money or you have to, you have to have the money put down somewhere. You have 20 million in your bank account. Then do it. But you must have um, the opportunities. Um, to provide um, that funding, whether it be through a student loan, whether it be through scholarships or other funding opportunities, they're able um, to finance um, the program for the intended period. So guys, 
the last thing to, or to the last sign to prove that medsci or medicine or being a doctor is for you is that if you are a team player as said in my previous videos if you watch them i'm going to just put the link up here so you guys can go and watch the other ones is being a team player a team player is somebody who works well with others medicine being a doctor is not a one man thing you can be the best yes but you can only be the best in what you do or your specialty if you specialize in dermatology you cannot be the best orthopedic surgeon there are others so you guys need to work together as a team to get the best outcome for the patient patients have many different conditions one patient can come in with some burn injuries as well as a broken bone you are a plastic surgeon you can fix the face with the burn but you cannot or you do you're not specialized to fix the broken bone so you have to work together for the best outcome of your patient so being a team player is key all right so that's it for this video we talked about the 10 signs to know that med school is for you all right so again thanks for joining us um if you're not yet subscribe to our channel and you missed the first part of the video that we're telling you to subscribe then again please i'm asking you before you go in case you forgot to subscribe to our youtube channel all right so that's it see you in the next video bye, bye.